In this exercise, we're going to draw the root locus for the function g of s that is given here. You see that this function is a bit more complicated than the previous ones. It has a constant, it has a zero, a pole at the origin, and the two real poles. Let's do this using the two methods we covered before. The one where we draw all individual lines for each individual building blocks and then add everything up, and the one that allows us to draw the body plot in just one go. To start, we need to write the transfer function in the standard form. We can simply factor 0.5 on top and factor 5 and 50 in the denominator. This is equal to 4 times s over 0.5 plus 1 divided by s times s over 5 plus 1, s over 50 plus 1. The next step is to identify the building blocks. The first one is the constant, 4. 20 log of 4 is around 12 decibels. This will add a constant gain of 12 decibels on the body plot. Next we have a pole at the origin. The pole at the origin adds negative 20 decibels per decade for all frequencies on the body plot. Next we have a real zero. The magnitude of the real zero is zero up to the cutoff frequency and then it adds 20 decibels per decade past the cutoff frequency. So 20 decibels per decade for frequencies greater than 0.5 radians per second. Finally we have two real poles. The magnitude of the poles will be zero up to their cutoff frequencies and past their cutoff frequencies each will add a slope of negative 20 decibels per decade. The first one adds the first one adds negative 20 dB per decade for frequencies greater than 5 radians per second. And the second one adds an additional 20 decibels per decade when the frequency becomes now greater than 50. We can now take the 20 log of this expression and this is what is going to be displayed on the body plot. We have 20 log of 4 plus 20 log of the real 0 plus 20 log of omega which is the pole at the origin, plus 20 log of 1 over j omega over 5 plus 1, one of the real poles, and plus 20 log of 1 over j omega over 50 plus 1. This should have been simply omega. Now that we have identified these five building blocks, we can draw each of them separately and then add everything up to represent the final magnitude of function g of s. Let's start with the constant gain. 20 log of 4 equals to 12 dB. This creates a constant line of 12 decibels. Next, we can look at the real zero. The real zero has a cutoff frequency of 0 0.5 radians per second, which should be around here. The real zero on the body plot will show a magnitude of zero up to the cutoff frequency. And past the cutoff frequency, it will add 20 decibels per decade. So starting at 0, we go up to 0 0.5, which is the cutoff frequency. And now, past 0 0.5, the slope goes up by a factor of 20 decibels when the frequency increases by 10. Which means that 10 times frequency from now is 5 radians per second. The body plot should be at 20 decibels. And at 10 times the current frequency, that is 50, radians per second, the body plot should be at 40. Hence the body plot for the real zero looks like this curve. Now let's look at the real pole whose cutoff frequency is 5 radians per second, which is around here. Like the zero up to the cutoff frequency, the magnitude added by that pole will be zero. However, past the cutoff frequency, now the magnitude decreases by a factor of 20 decibels per decade. So if at 5 radians per second the body plot is at 0, at 50 you should be at negative 20. And at 500 you should be at around negative 40. Now let's look at the next one, which is the pole, the real pole at 50. By now you know that up to 50 the magnitude is 0. And past 50 it will now start to decay by a factor of 20 dB per decade which means that at 500 radians per second, the magnitude of the body plot associated with it should be negative 20 dB. The last element is the pole of the origin. This adds a constant slope of negative 20 decimals per decade everywhere on the body plot. At 1, 20 log of 1 is 0, so we are starting at 0. 10 times the current frequency would be 10 radians per second. At a slope of negative 20 decimals per decade, the magnitude should be negative 20. At 100 radians per second, 
minus 20 minus 20 is negative 40. If we now go back and, free and decrease the frequency, when we are at a frequency that is 10 times lower than the current frequency, that is 0 0.1 radians per second, we should go up by 20 decibels. So if you are at 0 at 1 radians per second, at 0 0.1 radians per second, the body plot should be at 20. And at negative and at 0 0.01, we should be at 40. And here is the constant slope created by 1 over s. Now that we have the plots for each individual building block, we can attempt to add them to find the body plot of g of s. We're starting at 10 to the power of negative 2. At 10 to the power of negative 2, we have 3 times 0 plus 12 plus 40. So we should be at around 52 dB. At 10 to the power of 1, this represents a jumping frequency of 10. And because of the constant slope of negative 20 decibels per decade, the magnitude will go down by 20 dB. So if we are if we are at 52 as 0 0.01 radians per second, at 0 0.1 we should be at 52 minus 20, that is 32 decibel. In, and this can be seen by the fact that here we are at 20 dB and we are adding 12 dB from the constant gain and this is indeed 32 decibels. This will keep decreasing up to the next cutoff frequency. The next cutoff frequency is 0 0.5 radians per second that corresponds to that zero and we should be around here. Notice that past this point, the slope created by the additional zero will cancel out the slope created by the pole at the origin. So now the slope will become flat. While this adds 20 decibels per, de 20 decibels per decade, we had negative 20 decibels per decade because the pole at the origin, they cancel out, the body plot is flat. And we will stay flat up to the next cutoff frequency, which is 5 radians per second, right here. When you pass 5 radians per second, because that's a pole, that will add negative 20 decimals per decade. So past 5, now the body plot will start to decay by 20 dB per decade. And this will go on up to 50, where we cross another cutoff frequency of 50 radians per second. What happens now? Well, now there are two poles acting on it. So the slope that it was initially negative 20 dB per decade now becomes negative 40 dB per decade. And this is the approximated body plot for the function g of s. One thing that we didn't address is what is this value here when the body plot is flat? Because we know the magnitude at 0.1 radians per second. What is the magnitude at 0.5? This is half of a decade for sure, but the body plot doesn't go down by 10 decibels only because this is not linear. So to find that, we need to do some, some simple calculations. At 0.1 radians per second, the magnitude is 32 decibels. If you move by one decade in frequency, that is, we reach one radians per second, this should go down by 20 decibels and should go to 12 dB. That is 32 minus 20 log of the jumping frequency. The jumping frequency was 1 over 0 0.1. And this is indeed 12 dB. But now we're only moving by half of a decade. So now we have 32 minus 20 log of 0 0.5, which is the destination frequency, di divided by 0 0.1, the current frequency. And this is around 18 decibels. So this value here should be around 18 dB. If you here we are at 18 dB, and here we should be at around negative 2 dB, that is 18 minus 20. And what is the magnitude at 500 radians per second? Well, that would be negative 2 dB minus 40 dB, which is negative 42 decibels. Remember that for this portion of the body plot, the slope is negative 40 dB per decade. Now let's concentrate on the phase. The phase is a lot easier. Starting at low frequencies, the only thing acting on the body plot is the gain 4, whose phase is 0, and the pole at the origin, whose phase is always negative 90 degrees. So from very low frequencies up to the first cutoff frequency, which is 0 0.5, the phase is negative 90 degrees, because only the pole at the origin is acting. We haven't reached any other cutoff frequencies. At 0 0.5, we encounter a 0. The 0 adds 90 degrees to the phase past its cutoff frequency. So now the phase goes up to 0, negative 90 plus 90. 
and this will stay at zero up to the next cutoff frequency, which is five radians per second. This now comes from a pole. The pole adds negative 90 degrees to the phase, so it goes back to negative 90. And this will stay at negative 90 up to the next cutoff frequency, 50 radians per second. This cutoff frequency comes from a pole. The pole will add another negative 90 degrees and the phase becomes negative 180. We can now interpolate this curve to find the true phase, which should be something like this, passing by 45 degrees here and here, and negative 135 degrees there. This is the phase of the transfer function. Now let's attempt to draw the magnitude of the transfer function with a more direct approach. Instead of drawing every individual building block, let's see if you can do this in one go. The idea is to start at a very low frequency. So what is acting on the body plot at very low frequencies? We have two things. We have the constant gain and we also have the pole at the origin. Starting with the pole at the origin, what would be the magnitude at 10 to the power of negative 2? Well, the pole at the origin will be at 0 when the frequency is 1, 20 log of 1 is 0. It would be at plus 20 at 10 to the power of minus 1 and would be at plus 40 at 10 to the power of negative 2. However, to that we need to add the gain 4. So this point here is 40 because of the pole at the origin plus 20 log of 4 which is 12 dB. So we now have 40 plus 20 log of 4, this is 52 decibels. So we are starting at 52 dB. Our body plot starts here. What is acting on the body plot now? As we start to move towards the right and increase the frequency, the only slope acting on the body plot now is the one created by 1 over s, that is negative 20 dB per decade. If we now move by a factor of 10 in frequency, this needs to go down by a factor of 20. So we go from 52 to 52 minus 20, which is 32 dB. And we couldn't keep going. However, at 0 0.5, we have a cutoff frequency. That cutoff frequency is coming from a zero. We'll add 20 decibels per decade. What is the magnitude at 0 0.5 radians per second? Well, that is 32 minus 20 log of the destination frequency divided by the current frequency. And this is 18 dB. So we should be around 18 dB. Past the 0 0.5, now the slope that was negative 20 decibels per decade because of the pole of the origin is cancelled out by the fact that 0 at 0 0.5 adds 20 decibels per decade. So the body plot now becomes flat up to the next cutoff frequency. Once again, 0 0.5 is the cutoff frequency of a 0. This adds 20 decibels per decade to the slope. The slope before that point was negative 20 decibels per decade. Now the slope becomes constant. At 5 radians per second, we have a pole. The pole adds negative 20 dB per decade to a slope that is now 0, which means that the new slope from here on will be negative 20 dB per decade. At 50, the body plot needs to go down by 20 decibels because we moved by a factor of 10 in the frequency. We are at 18 decibels minus 20 is negative 2. The slope is now negative 20 dB per decade. The slope here was 0 dB per decade. Now past 50 we have another pole at 50 radians per second and the additional pole will add another negative 20 decibels per decade to the magnitude of the body plot. If you now increase the frequency by a factor of 10, we go from 50 to 500, the body plot needs to go down by 40 decibels. If we are now at negative 2, negative 2 minus 40 equals to negative 42 dB, and this is the magnitude of the body plot at 500. This slope is now negative 40 dB per decade, minus 42 decibels there. Now for additional practice, I recommend you redo this exercise with this new transfer function, simply changing 5 by 10, attempt to draw the body plot for this one, and you can check the results with MATLAB. First, define s as a transfer function, then create a function of s, and use the command body g to plot the body plot and check your results.